Hello everybody! Today, instead of focusing on something special to cook, we are actually going to go like a special fish. And this fish is actually kind of special and it's also kind of expensive. And this ingredient is also very, very beautiful. Well then, the special ingredient that we have today is this. This is called a coral grouper. Well then, let's create something out of this. Okay everybody, the special ingredient that we have today is this coral grouper, also known as Set Halo Polis Miniata. I ordered this fish really really special to be caught just for me. This fish is actually from Sabah. The thing about this coral grouper is that the skin is actually really really nice. People actually use it for either eating or they can keep it as a pet. It is said that this fish actually plays a very 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 important role in the coastal sea ecosystem and this fish is actually usually around 2 meters to 150 meters below sea level. It's actually all around the seas of most of the Southeast Asia countries. The coral grouper is actually a fish which is also favorable by like so many fishermen who actually catch this fish by either fishing, spearing or maybe fish traps. Well, with all that said, let's take a look at the fish, shall we? Just by looking at the fish itself, you can actually see that the fish has this nice red orangey color. If you actually look at the fish in person, you actually realize that this fish is actually like a red orange kind of skin with some kind of like blue color spots all over it. Wow, looks really good though. Groupers, they actually eat a lot of small fishes, shrimps, crabs, so their mouth usually can extend to be like big, big, big size. But oh my god, you take a look at the fangs, it's very, very, very sharp like all the fishes this fish obviously have scales it has to have scales so i'm gonna dig one scale out okay wow one scale is around like this size you can see that the fins here is actually like quite soft you don't really need to remove this but over here on the top it has like let's see one two three four five six seven seven really 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 sharp fins before serving this i'm gonna have to remove this fin actually i'm gonna see what's at the bottom here you can actually feel that there's only like one very very sharp fin and the rest is not sharp at all and the gills i guess the gills is a little bit washed up what i plan to do with this fish today is that i think i want to cook this fish into a steamed fish and make it really 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 simple so today i'm making steamed fish with a cantonese style soy sauce but there's going to be something different today i'm going to focus on steaming this fish with nothing and then i'm going to put a typical chinese fish sauce on top but i'm going to do the best i can to make the dish slightly slightly more beautiful and colorful well then let's get to it here we go first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to scale the fish so let's see I'm going to scale it slowly. We really need to be careful on this part because we know that this part here is really, really sharp. Okay, this is what the fish looks like after it's descaled. You can see that the color has become slightly dull but the spots are all still kind of like visible. So I'm really curious to see what exactly is inside the tummy. I'm going to start by poking the butthole. Wow, it's a bit hot. Okay, now my, I'm going to change my knife. I'll go for a sharper one. I guess I didn't sharpen my knife enough. Okay. Oh, nice. This is the swim bladder. And, well, the stomach is pretty much empty. This fish didn't have its last meal before it died. Oh, well, let's see. So, I think this thing here is the stomach. Okay, whatever, I'm cutting this up. Don't even know what's everything here. Never mind, I'll just discard it. So the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to remove the gills. The gills, you can actually remove it quite easily by cutting here once, here once, the other side, here once. I'm going to start with this, then up to here. If it's too difficult for you, you can actually use a scissors to block it out. I'm going to turn this around, and I'm going to cut this part as well. 
There you go. Gills out. This is what the gills look like. Next, I'm going to butterfly the fish. To butterfly the fish, I'm just going to have to slice here to remove the belly bones just by a little and then cut the fish as if I'm filleting the fish. But I'll be cutting until here and then I'm going to remove the bones. Let's start with this part. Very hard. Okay, whatever. Secret weapon, Chinese knife. The tail part should be softer than the head, so this one should be easily done like this. Okay, butterfly of the fish done. Fish bones go inside. Now let's wait for the sauce to cook. Okay, sauce is done. I'll leave this aside. Now I'm gonna put the fish here. This time, I'm steaming the fish with nothing. And this is actually a steamer, a Chinese traditional steamer. I'm just going to steam this. Okay. Here we go. I say about 10 to 15 minutes. That should do. Well, let's start making our garnish. And I'm gonna cut out the things that I don't need. I'm just gonna have like a piece of shallot and two pieces of garlic. I'm gonna use this to make a fried garnish. First, slice shallots first. Next, slice garlic. I'm just adding some hot oil here. And I'll be frying the shallots and garlic. Say about 15 minutes has passed, so the fish should be really nicely cooked by now. One, two, three. Woo, beautiful. All right, fish cooked. Steam red coral, done. Oh, job well done. This is actually what I'm going to call not my best work to be honest. I kind of broke the tail but I feel that this kind of dishes that you're going to take it and serve it in a typical Chinese restaurant is a dish that you're going to have to eat with rice. Now let's talk about the presentation. To be honest I actually just made this dish based on whatever I found in my fridge. <laughs> Overall the presentation is just a so-so presentation. I could have done better than this if I had other ingredients but it is just my ego. Okay now, time for the taste test. Let's see, let's see, let's see. First thing I want to try is going to be any part of the meat. Okay, sure, sure. Oh, the skin is a little bit gummy and the meat is very, very, very flaky. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow, the meat is really, really shiny. Trust me. Wow! Yo, this fish is really good, really, it's, oh, the fish is so juicy and, oh, no fishy flavor at all and it's very smooth in the inside, very smooth, juicy and soft, wow, this is very nice, oh, 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 this is fantastic, really, oh, I made a really, really nice choice to steam this with nothing. The fish actually has this distinctive flavor which resembles cod, but honestly, sweeter than cod. Maybe I'm going to eat the meat with a little bit garnish, and then I'll see how this is like. With the nice hot boiling steam all coming up to my face. Wow, this is going to be very, very nice. I think I burned the garlic and the shallots by little, but um, the flavor of everything is still there. I'm gonna try two more parts. The first part I'm gonna try is the cheeks. 
Let's see how much cheap meat does this fish actually has. Okay, not much cheap meat. Add some sauce in here. Yeah. Let's see what it's like. Mm. I'm gonna try the belly part. How is the belly? Let's see. Okay, this is the belly part. Let's give this a shot. Ha! Ah. <coughs> oh, yes, this kind of like a bitter, bitter kind of feel over there. Maybe it's because I didn't clean the uh, fish properly. But overall, this fish is definitely <coughs> really, really good. If you ask me, among all the fishes that we have in all the episodes that we have so far, this fish is actually the best. It's so much, so good, uh, this fish, really. And there you have it. This is the coral grouper. With all that said, end my review now while I finish this meal. <laughs> wow, that was that was really good just to be honest. Wow, there's really really a wow factor in the coral grouper. Well, <clears throat> on today's episode, we actually had coral grouper. We cook it in the most simplest possible way, steamed with nothing, and just add a typical Cantonese sauce on it. And I didn't even make the sauce myself. And yet, the fish was like so good. Really, really, really is so good. Well, not my best presentation. I won't say there's any buts in this dish though. It's just really, really, really fantastic. I think overall, if you ask me, there's not much other kinds of fish that you can actually compare this fish to. If you ask me to compare it with the cod, it's called a Chilean sea bass. This coral grouper definitely tastes better than the Chilean sea bass. I bought this fish for like 90 ringgit per kilo, including the head and the guts. But for the Chilean sea bass, the market price is at least 130 ringgit per kilo. And that is without the head. My opinion, this fish actually beats the Chilean sea bass. Really. Well then, time is running short for me. So if you want to make my day, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you can, share this video. And that's all I can say. See you next time. Bye-bye.